Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a few utility commands in Stata. Specifically, I'm going to show you the commands display, count, and list. So display is a command which tells Stata to print something in the results window. So if I tell Stata display 24, for example, then Stata will print 24 in the results window. You can use this like a calculator. I could say display 24 times 10, and then Stata will calculate 24 times 10 and then print that number. So it'll display 240 here. So you can use this, like I say, like a calculator. Of course, if you wanted to just print a string of symbols too, I could type something like, I am the master of Stata. And as long as I put it in quotation marks, Stata will know what I really mean here is this string of symbols. I'm not talking about some number. I'm giving it a string of symbols to print on the page. And then it will print this as just the string, string of symbols. So that's display. Like I say, it's mostly useful as a calculator. But in some situations, there will be stored information, uh, which I'll talk about in another video. Uh, but there's stored information, and you can see what value that stored information takes by using the command display. So it can be useful for that as well. Okay, the other utility commands I want to show you, I'm going to show you using this data set airfare.dta, which I've already brought in. This is one of Jeff Wildridge's data sets. So if I just summarize this data here, you can see some of the variables which are in here. This, uh, this data is a collection of, bun of a bunch of different airplane trips and the fares which were charged. Uh, so if we wanted to get a sense, so for example, here I can see the range of fares has a minimum of $37 and a maximum of $522. So $37 seems like a pretty low airfare. So if I was just going through this data set, I might be interested in seeing how many observations are there with low airfares. And the way that you can do that is just say to use the command count. So I'll say count those observations. I'm going to count every instance where fare was less than, let's say, $50. So you see there are 4,596 total observations which have, a, which have a value for fare. So we'll see how many of those were under $50 fares for the flight. And when I do this, this this is data telling me that there is exactly one observation where there was a fare below $50. Of course, I could also do this for any other number. I could see how many observations there are with fares below $60. Now you can see there are a lot more of those observations than there are of the ones which are just purely below 50. So there are apparently 34 observations with fares between 50 and 60. Okay. Uh, if I wanted to see specifically what observation it was that had this very low fare, I can find that in the data set without having to scroll through everything using the command list. So I'm going to list every observation which has a fare below $50 by saying list, and then I'm going to list the observation if the fare for that observation is below 50 and what you'll see now is it produces this little thing here, which is a summary of every, well, it's not a summary, it's the value of every variable for this particular observation. So the single flight, which was below $50, it had a $37 fare. It was in 1997, it was from Atlantic City to Myrtle Beach. So list is very useful if you have, you know, one or two observations which you're trying to find. And you may be, may be able to find exactly where that observation is in your data or even just see what the values are and get some sense of, you know, if you were looking for an observation which was kind of an outlier, this lets you find the outlying observation and assess based on the values of all the variables uh, what might have been going on here. Of course, this becomes a little bit less practical if you have a whole bunch of observations. So, for example, if I listed every observation with fares below 60, Remember, there were 35 observations like that, so now I'm going to get this big mess of observations to sort through, and this is maybe not that practical. But when you're just dealing with a couple of observations, it's a pretty handy command to have at your disposal.